Work? Where else? So you now work night shift, huh? Do you now work night shift? I am talking to you, Rita. I worked late today. What else do you want me to say? And when did your office start having night activities? I owe you no explanation, Joel. You have no right to ask me that. Really? So what you say? Yeah, you heard me. You have no right to ask me such a question because I go to work every day, every morning to put food on the table for this house. Now you're asking me stupid questions. Are you kidding me right now, Rita? At least someone has to work. Excuse me. Thank you. And uh, have a seat and enjoy your breakfast. Thanks. Joel, what, 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 what is this? Well, I, don't, I don't understand. Is something, is something wrong with me? What is this rubbish you sent me to eat for breakfast? What is this? Is anything wrong with the meal? Are you being serious? You're asking me that question. So you didn't eat this rubbish before serving it to me? Darling, come on. I tasted the food, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Really? Joel, there's nothing wrong with this, with this poison? Breakfast is the simplest meal anyone can make. Even a stupid man can make breakfast. But no, Joel, you don't know how to do anything. You're good at nothing. Simple breakfast you can't make. Look at what you're serving me. Poison. Gosh. No, 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 no. Darling, you know what? I can make it up to you. Okay? No, no, no. This is fast becoming a routine because you've chosen to serve me nothing but poison. I can't have a decent, good meal before going to work. My husband chooses to serve me poison. But I touch it. No, 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 I'm done with this. Excuse me, I need to get a walk. I'm not as jobless as you are. Excuse me. Wait, get I, out. I, I will make it up to you. So I'll prepare something that tastes better. You want to kill me? Come on, darling. I will really try to.
Why are you going to? Um, I was bored, so I just decided to take a walk. Really? So I go out there all day, walking my ass off, and all you do is take a stroll. Taking a stroll to where exactly, Joel? Darling, I was just trying to have some fresh air, that's all. And why would you do that? Why? Is that what you're supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be coming back from work. That's what responsible men do at this time, not taking a stroll. So what is wrong with me just taking a walk? Everything is wrong with it, Joel. Everything is wrong. You should be going to work and coming back at this time, not taking a stroll. This is what you do all day. You're good at nothing, and you're not bothered about it. You're taking a stroll. Are you that shameless? All right, fine. Yeah. Have you made dinner? Well, my plan was to make oh, dinner Oh, you've not made dinner. You're taking a stroll, Joel. All right, fine. I'll, I'll make you dinner. You don't have to yell at me. People are watching. And why won't I yell at you? Why won't I yell at you if you're jobless and useless at the same time? Will you go back there and make me something to eat? And while I die, we pack this car. Take! Nothing lasts forever. Circumstances change. I mean, does she have to? You don't to? have to kick a man when he's down at his the lowest point. Because you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional.
So, um, how was work today? Fine. Just fine? Don't you want to tell me more? More what? Everything that happened in your office. As your what? Colleagues. As what? As your husband. Bro, you don't work in my office, so anything that happens there is none of your business, okay? I don't owe you any <clears throat> gist or anything at all. We don't have anything to talk about regarding my office. Babe, I know it's not my business, okay? But you used to tell me what goes on in your office. Not anymore. You don't work there, so it's none of your business. I mean, but I was thinking that. Um, can I eat this food in peace? Make me relax. I need to calm my body down. I had a very long day at work, so I need I need my nerves to calm down so I can sleep. Make me happy. Babe, I get what you mean. But can we make love properly this time around? I miss your tenderness. I I miss the way we used to do it. I don't have time for that. I have work tomorrow. Can you relate? No. Come and do your manly duties. You know what to do. You know how I like it. So get to it. And be fast because I don't have time. Make sure I am well relaxed so I can sleep very well. Cleaning my car? Um, I, I, I was actually making breakfast before I started working. And so? This is the only thing you, you, you're good at. This is the only thing you do. You should wake up earlier than now and clean the car. Now I'm 20 minutes late. I'm sorry that I got you late, okay? I was already done. I was just wrapping it up. That's all. Please give me my car keys. My keys! Pack it, pack it, and be fast about it. Joel! Give it to me. You should be fast like a man. You're slowing and catwalking like a woman. Um, have a great day at... Uh, Whatever. Uh -huh. So tell me, how was your trip? And I need details, you're not leaving anything out. Oh. Nothing at all. I don't even know where to start from. Anywhere, But if you see Jen. the man that I caught, uh -huh. if you see the... Ah, oh, God, I beg. Oh, you, Thank you, baby. Yeah, and you too. Thank you, Joel. So, uh... Where is your own glass cup, Joel? Um... He wouldn't be needed anything else to be because things to attend to. Inside, right, babe? Yeah, of course. Right, um, I'll just uh, leave you two to enjoy yourselves. Oh. Let me go finish what I was uh, doing. Yeah. Babes, as I was saying, if you see this man, he's so gorgeous. Did you see the dollars he gave me? Mm -hmm. Ah, God. So I what was... did you do with it? I, I trust you went shopping. I tell you! Oh, I'm oh. so sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Are Joel, you sure? It's fine. Joel will fix it. Babe, Darling. please, could you get something to clean up this mess? Um, right we spilled our drinks. Right there. 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 Right there.
a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know Show what tomorrow to brings. Yeah. Cause you never know what the future brings. Yes, yeah, fix now. Your love and respect should be So you can use the napkin. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Is there anything else? No, no, thank you. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. God! Your husband is so lovely. How come he doesn't mind doing a little chores for you? You think he's lovely? You're so lucky. Most men don't even touch nothing in their homes, but he does chores for you. Chores? That's all he does. What do you mean? He's jobless. Oh, he lost his job. Yeah, so I figured, why don't he be useful in the house since he doesn't have a job? Even at that, babe, you're so lucky. I know many men who are jobless but still spend the entire day in the bar drinking. But with someone like him, even if he gets another job, he's still going to assist you in doing these chores. You are so lucky. We'll see about that until he gets the job. Why do you talk about him like that? He's a graduate, and he has chances of getting high-paying jobs. Can we stop talking about my jobless husband and back to it, Oh, oh, mega, 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 mega. Back to it. So but he said you so many dollars. Your husband. Joel, who took money from my bank? Oh, uh, it was me. I just took um, 2K because I want to step out. And why would you do that? Why would you go to my purse? Why would you even go close to my purse, let alone taking my money? I mean, I didn't think it was a big deal. It was just 2K. 2K. And so, it's not your money. Return it. It's just to kill. I said return it. Are you deaf? Do you know how long I work in a day to make money? You don't have an idea because you're jobless. You can't relate. Return my money, all of it. Joel, what are you doing? Um, you know that friend I told you about that lives around. I just want to go say hi to him, so. Okay, so why are you standing beside my car with my car key? Oh, I figured if I drive your car, I'll be faster and then I'll return home sooner, you know, to make you dinner. Joel, really? Really? Look, I don't have strength for trouble. I don't want trouble. Just go back in there and drop my car keys exactly where you picked it up from. Wait a minute. Are you saying as your husband, I can't even use your car? Yes, you can't, Joel. You can't because you are jobless. You are jobless and you have no money. So if you go out there and scratch the car, who will fix it? Which money would you use in fixing it? You have none. You know what? I am fed up of this, your insolence, okay? Is it because I lost my job that you have to maltreat me at every given opportunity? Simply because I do not have a job does not give you the right to disrespect me and embarrass me in front of the entire neighborhood. I am fed up with all this nonsense. You can eat your car if you like. So tell me, Abel, how have you been? Well, as you can see, I'm doing well. So tell me, how are you coping with joblessness and how is your wife taking it? Because I know it can be hell when a man is jobless and his wife is working. Yeah, trust me, it's hell. We're just coping, you know, everything is fine. We're taking it one step at a time. I'm just hoping that very soon something good will happen. It's all, it's all, my brother, it's all. See, don't worry. Like, I'm on it. I promise to get you a better job, okay? Yeah, that reminds me. What about the other job that um, was uh, available? Oh, that? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know the labor market is choked up already. 
Yeah, someone was interviewed for it and you know he got the job. He was employed immediately this morning. But don't worry. See, I have everything on desk, you know, for you. Okay. Thank you very much for your effort. Nice time. You've been an amazing friend. You're welcome. So, let's go and have some butters. No, 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 no. I'm not caught up for all that. Oh, I've lots on my stop mind. that. I got it covered already. Let's go. Mm. My G, forget your serious. Let's go. It's fine. Just one box. One. <laughs> one. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Joel, why are you coming from at this time? Do you know what time it is? Where are you coming from? It's late. Joel, I am talking to you. Where the hell are you coming from at this time? You're acting like you can't hear me. I'm talking to you, Joel. Where are you coming from? Joel! This is... Joel, I am talking to you. I need answers. Where the hell are you coming from? It's late. I have work tomorrow. Believe you me, I do acknowledge your efforts in trying to provide for this family. And very soon when things work out for me, I am going to continue taking care of you just like I used to in the past. Okay? Please, just indulge me this one. I am a man, I'm your husband. Stop. Stop it. Stop. What is it? Nothing lasts forever. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know. What tomorrow brings, yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Um, the 
YouTube, I know you are late for work and um, you have to go out now, but there's something I want to talk to you about. I, I need you to do me a little favor. What is it? Um, can I get a mega loan from you? What for? Okay, so there's this new thing right now that has been happening. It's called um, the crypto airdrop. It's very new. It's catching fire really fast and it's booming. All I have to do is just invest a, a little token and I'm making a lot of millions. By the way, you're saying millions, like you can afford it. Babe, I know I can't afford it, but trust me. If I can invest as little as 300,000 Naira, I'll be cashing out big time. All I have to do is make sure I invest early. I don't know why you're asking me. Because you always remind me that you are the man of the house. The man of the house pays his bills and pays his family's bills, not asking for a loan. I know I've said that, but please let's just keep that behind us, alright? That's in the past now. Now I'm trying to make a leap that can take me to the next level. All I need is for you to borrow me 300,000 and I promise I will double it as soon as I am done with this deal. I don't have 300,000 naira to waste. Babe, you're not wasting it. You're giving it to your husband. I'm not giving it to you. I don't have it. I'm not giving. Babe, please. This is the way out for me. Please. I'm not giving. I need to go and walk. I walk. Um, sorry, my hands are a bit messy. Okay. So. Um, I've seen you a couple of times dumping refuge here and I thought to say hello. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. That's very thoughtful. Nice to meet you. See, so, do you live in the estate too? Yeah, as a matter of fact, my block is just down the road there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just hoping to make a few friends. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Um, Sorry to disappoint you. I am happily married and um, I would have to decline if you don't mind. Oh, that's great, but we can still be friends. I don't think it's proper. You know, there's so many young guys and uh, ladies in the estate. I'm sure some of them are single. You can make friends with them. I just want to make friends in the estate. At least that's all I'm asking. Yeah, I understand. So you can make friends with them, but I am not available. I'll catch you later. But... Um, can I at least have your number? Later, good evening, bye. Honestly, Joel, you see, I've not been paid yet. Have you asked your wife? Yeah, I've asked her. You know, she has a lot of financial obligations in our business. If not, she would have given me some cash. I'm not sure of that. I understand that. But you know I'm a salary earner, and the little money I have presently with me is for my feeding. No, 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 bro. I, I won't ask you to inconvenience yourself that much, okay? I know that if you have it right now, you give it to me. I understand. All right, it's fine. But the thing is, if two weeks is not that too late, I promise, once I get paid, I'll sort you out, definitely. I'll really? do that. Yeah, you're my guy now. You're Thanks, my man. man. You're the man, man. Ah, uh, uh, I know you do the same for me as well. Of course, why not? I trust you. Yeah, I trust you too. You know, I'm just trying to do everything possible because nobody knows which of them is going to pay off. Yeah, I clearly understand what, you know, it is like. But don't worry, okay. it will pay off soon, okay? I hope so. It will definitely. Hey, good morning again. Good morning again. <laughs> uh, what's your name again? My name is V. V? That's actually a very simple name. So you actually work out? Um, not often, but I used to see you every Saturday morning. And I would like to join you. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Well, for starters, I work out very intensely. Like, I go okay. all the way down to the end. That's the so very far. last pole. Mm-hmm. I start from there, and I go to the end of the 
back and forth and I do all that for an entire hour. One whole hour, I do that from 7 a.m. Are you sure you're up to this? Because, I mean, you look like you're just starting. But right? I can adjust. You sure? <laughs> I can. You sure? Yes. All right, fine. Um, be my guest. So, on Saturday, 7 a.m., that pole. That's okay. what we're meeting. Okay. Does that work for you? That's fine. All right, catch you later. Huh? Okay. But can I have your number, please? We already spoke about this. I know, I know you're married and I know my boundaries. Please. All right. Thank you. There you go. Okay, thank you. So, jogging park, that's it. Sure. Yeah, catch you Goodbye. Later. Remember me? Oh, me. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay, so this is my number. Save it, okay? of an art person but at least I did figure this out <laughs> and um, I prepared all your favorite delicacies I have everything lined up in the kitchen it's gonna be like buffet whenever you're done freshening up and you're ready to roll right I also have some wine to digest everything that we eat thank you baby it's still little that I could do you know I'm not the very rich guy right now <laughs> thank you I mean, the thought counts. Thank you. Um, darling, you know, that stuff I asked you for, the favor, I don't know if you can consider it because I really do need to, to, to start something. Wait, is this like a bribe to get me to give you money? No, no. No, no, I, I thought we were celebrating my birthday. That is not what it is, okay? We are celebrating your birthday. But darling, you know I need this stats. I, I need this money to get myself to the next level. It's just 300,000 Naira. Please. I don't have it. Joel, I don't have money to give to you. Darling, I know you can afford this. Please just help me. I'm still, I'm your husband. I'm not giving. I don't have it. I don't have it now. Maybe later, but for now, I don't have it. Babe, if I tap into this crypto airdrop of a thing, I am going to make it big. And that will be good for the two of us. I don't have. I'm not given. I understand. I, I, I know that if, if you have, you would eventually, um, you know, give, give me some. So let's just leave that for now. We can, we can, we can talk about that later. Let's not ruin the moment. Um, something else I need to talk to you about, though. Um, don't you think it's high time we start making babies? Making babies? Yes, you know, like bouncing maybe boy and girl, even twins, who knows? Joel, you shouldn't be talking about making babies. You are jobless. How can you even think of... You don't have a job. How do you 
in time to feed Dan, a baby. Listen, this is not a permanent condition for me. Someday I am going to have a job. Things will get better. Plus, it takes about nine months for a woman to conceive. In nine months, I'll be strong again. So, while you're still crippled, trying to find your way in life, I should get pregnant and bring a baby into this world so the baby will suffer. I will not birth any child to suffer. I will not bring any child into this world to suffer. Never, no matter how little, my baby will not suffer. So no, we can't make babies because you don't have money. You can't even afford 300,000 naira. And you're talking of making babies. Okay, baby, how about us? How about we getting our groove back? We've not made love in a long time. You're jobless, get a job. That's the first thing you should be thinking about. You're here talking about babies and getting your groove back. What is he doing here? Um, darling, don't you know Abel? My friend, you know him, right? I know him. My question is, what is he doing in my house? So we're just chilling, you know, talking about what's affecting our industry and also watching TV at the same time. We're just basically chilling. You know? You're just chilling? And you served him a drink that I bought with my own money? Honey, what are you talking about? Ask him to leave. Babe? You heard me. Ask him to leave my house. Easy now. guys, easy guys. I don't want troubles, okay? I don't want troubles. Do you know the person you came here to chill and drink with is jobless? Do you know that? Instead of you to help your friend get a job, you're here chilling and drinking with him. Are you not supposed to help him? Are both of you that shameless? Shameless men. You're supposed to help your friend. You're not helping him. Maybe I'll, I'll catch up with you. I'm sorry about this. What kind of rubbish is that? What's the meaning of that nonsense? Why have you chosen to humiliate me in front of my own friends? What kind of stupid question is that? Aren't you supposed to be ashamed of yourself? You're jobless instead of you to think of how to get your life back together. You're here chilling and drinking with your friend. You think I don't know what this is? You're trying to manipulate me simply because I am unemployed at the moment. Do you think this is the end of my world? You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh Wait, you want to hate me? No, go ahead and hit me. Hit me, Joel. Hit me. We can add woman beta to your useless and jobless resume. Hit me! Now you listen to me carefully, woman. The next time you humiliate me in front of people, most importantly, my own friend, I will forget the true definition of restraint. You better watch it. You don't deserve a friend. Jobless people don't have friends, Joel. Find a job that you can have a friend. You don't deserve any form of friend or friendship. You don't have a job and you're talking about friends. You don't deserve one. Get a job. Get a life. Fix your life. Shameless man. Now he wants to hit me. Hey, Bill, I'm so sorry the way my wife behaved in front of you. I'm sorry. Please do not take it personal. All right? Just let it go. So how long has she been like that? Because it's quite embarrassing. Yeah, I know. It just started recently when I lost my job. Ever since then, she's been acting up, you know, so arrogant, so aggressive. Insults me at every given opportunity. She nags all the time. This is what I have to deal with. So now she's mocking you that you're broke or what? Exactly. Who will ever believe that your wife would change to this extent? Who? If you ask me, man, now who I go ask? I mean, this is a woman that I nurtured when she had nothing. I had her back every single step of the way. I took care of her. And I married her that way because I loved her, okay? And I didn't just stop there. I also tried to hustle jobs for her until she finally gained employment. Now it's that same job that she is using to mock me. I know everything. I understand everything. Tell me, I'm still in shock at your wife's behavior. Imagine her telling you that she paid for the network that you're using. And she even bought the drink that we took. Who does that? Simply because I'm out of job now. I mean, this is not going to last forever, right? Should my wife actually treat me like this because I'm jobless? 
This is what I have to face now. Joel, I'm so sorry that you're facing this alone. You see, we need to buckle our shoes, okay? And look for something bigger for you, something big. You deserve the best. Hey, Bill, I need a job. Yes, yes. Whatever it takes, I need a job. Tooth or nail, I need a job. I love my wife. I know. I don't want to lose my marriage. You will not. You see, Joel, I promise to get you a better job. Better is not good enough, but the best is yet to come. You get the best job ever. Believe me, okay? It's fine. All right, thank you. Do you know what it means being the breadwinner now that we don't have a child? So if we have a child, how am I going to cope? You should know that he didn't plan to lose his job at this time, Rita. Things happen. It's his carelessness that made him lose his job. You're treating him so badly. This is the same man that has been doing everything for you when he had money. Treating him like this at this point. Rita, it's not fair. You don't know Joel. Joel needs to be pushed. He needs to be given a big push. That's mm -mm. the only way he'll sit mm -mm. up. Because if you don't do that, I know Joel, he will relax and be comfortable in poverty. He loves being poor. No. Definitely not me. He doesn't need your kind of push. He doesn't need your kind of push. Rita, this thing you're doing will kill the love he has for you. Don't say I did not tell you. Okay. But why are you sounding like you're a saint now? Why? I know what I'm doing, okay? Just leave my husband for me. I know how to deal with him. You are doing whatever you are doing wrongly. And I will tell you because I am your friend. Do you understand? It's bad. Yes, babe. I have gotten a job. I have gotten a job, babe. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, I have gotten a job. I have been employed in one of these tech companies, and I'm asked to resume on Monday. Oh my God, babe! Wow, that's that's. Finally. Fine. Yeah. Babe, aren't you happy for me? I am. I I just said good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. What's going on here? Why are you dressed like this? I am on my way to work. You truly have a job? Yeah, I have a job. Hope it's not all those ones that Waste your time and pay you chicken change in the name of salary. At least, it's a good start. Mm. So, have a good day. Have a good day at your job.
lasts forever. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Why have you been all day drunk? And what sort of question is that? Didn't I tell you that I have a job now? I went out to work. Which job? The last time I checked, you were jobless. So which <laughs> job are you talking about? What's your problem? Hmm? I mean, why do you keep trying to inconvenience me at every single opportunity? Oh, what's that thing they say about jobless people that they go out and roam about the streets? Is that what you think that I do? Well, maybe that's what I'm doing. huh? You're just trying to provoke me in this house, John. Yeah, call it whatever you want to call it. All I know is that I have a job now and I went to work. And it wasn't an easy job. Right? I don't believe you. If you have a job, where, where, where do you work? Where's your office address? It's none of your business. What is the address of the place you work? It's none of your business. What's your office address, John? You know what? If there's food, I would like to eat. But if there's no food, you can sit down there and enjoy yourself. <clears throat> I'm going off just a bit. There's no food, I don't just... Joel, I don't believe you. You don't have any job. Where is your office address? Why is it so hard for you to tell me? You're still jobless. And you've not told me where you went to all day. Tell me you went to which work? You don't have a job. You're jobless. Where is your office address? Nothing lasts forever. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Shh. 
shopping today for the house and I bought some groceries because we were out of it so I needed to stock up. Mm. Mm. Is that all you have to say? And what were you expecting me to say? Hmm? Well, now that you have a job, I think it's only wise that you refund the money that I spent today on groceries. Aha! I knew it. I knew that's where you were going to all along. You want me to refund the money that you used to spend in the house that you live in, huh? Our house. Our house. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. No problem. No problem. Right. I'll give you some money. I'll show this will make up. You can have that. There you um, go. What am I supposed to do with this dirty Naira note? This is 7,000 Naira. Take. What? Joel. Yeah. What I spent today was close to 200,000 Naira. And you're giving me this. This dirty change. What am I supposed to do with this? No, well, tell me. What am I supposed to do with this, Joel? Well, listen, that's all I have, okay? You did not have the conversation with me that you're going to spend 200,000 Naira on groceries. 200,000 Naira. So you, you're giving me this dirty note to do what exactly? What can I buy with this? Tell that, me. That's all I have. Matches and, wa and water? Tell me what, what, what you want me to do with this. 
Well, that's all I have for now, okay? You didn't tell me you're going to spend 200,000 naira today. You didn't have a conversation with me. You're still a broke, jobless man. You don't have a job, Dro. You are still jobless and shameless. Jobless, broke man. Jobless man. I gave you some money and you stole it back. Of me. Look at the dirty naira notes you're giving to. What will I do with that? Buy salt? Rubbish. Joel, Joel, wake up. I need you. I need you. Wake up. I need you to make me relax so I can sleep. What do you mean you're already asleep? I, I can't sleep. I, I need you to, to, to calm my body down so I can sleep. I can't sleep. I'm talking to you. Jesus. Cut me some slack, okay? Give me a break. I need to sleep. I can't sleep. I need you to come do your manly duties. What are you doing? Don't even... Don't even dare walk out on me. Joel! Watch me. Joel! What? I'm asking, I want to go out with you on a date. Is it possible? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll be at work till evening. Oh, my bad. Okay, can we do evening if it is okay for you? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, thank you. So, where do I pick you? I'll text you the address. So where is the architect? He's supposed to be on site today. Yeah, he's around. He's just at that. Okay, you, you need to call him so that I can just...
Oh, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. So I always say, you have to call him so that I, I can just analyze everything with him. And you guys, just, just hurry up, okay? My client is waiting, please. Okay. okay then, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. All right. Think so? Yes, I know so. Um, you don't mind. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. So, is it time for you to tell me about yourself? Uh, nothing little to talk about myself, but I'm new in town. Yes, I just returned from the US, settling my apartment, still trying to figure out the town. What exactly? Uh, I'm into many things, but most of them are indoors. Uh, I'm into forest training, blockchain, movie production, stuff like that. Wow, all of them. Just for friends? Uh, yes, as you can see, that most of them are more or less the same thing, regarding the forest training aspect of it. Um, if you don't mind, may I know you think? Well, there is nothing much to know about me. I work for the management team at Obisin Company. Wow. Uh, are you married? Um, I was married. What? What happened? Yeah, cheated. You said that you could not forgive me. Okay, any child? It's okay, let me know from past you with question. Um, what else? Uh, let me call them so that we'll get to no, 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 no. <laughs> You know, to entertain a lady of your caliber, it's not easy. <laughs> let me call with her. Let's get to something. Work? Where else? So you now work night shift, huh? Do you now work night shift? I am talking to you, Rita. I worked late today. What else do you want me to say? And when did your office start having night activities? I owe you no explanation, Joel. You have no right to ask me that. Really? So you say? Yeah, you heard me. You have no right to ask me such a question because I go to work every day, every morning to put food on the table for this house. Now you're asking me stupid questions. Are you kidding me right now, Rita? At least someone has to work. Excuse me. Hi, Joel. Hi. 
um, sorry to say, I saw you the other day at the construction site, working alongside some laborers. Um, is that your job? I'm, I'm sorry if it's too much, but I just want to know if that's your job, because you look way smarter than that. It's a long story. Also, do you want to talk about it? It's fine, you can come to my place whenever you think you can, because I want to know. so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. You see, I, I, I just figured it out that we need something to cool off. I'm glad you're here. How do you always figure things out all by yourself? Even without me saying something, you know it's what like, to hey, do. Come on, man. My heart beats for you. And I know how stressful it is for you to fix the computer all day in the name of work. <laughs> you're very intentional and I like that. <laughs> so how has it been? <sighs> Work has been crazy, it's been demanding and really stressful, what oh. can I say? I'm so sorry about that, but I'm promising you one thing, that very soon, you will not have to work for anyone. How do you mean? And like, when we get to stay together, hmm, I have no need for you working for anyone. As in, we'll, I'll live with you? Sorry, I know that is too early, but... <laughs> Wait, are you trying to ask me to... Sweetheart, it's okay. I know it's too early. Um, what do you think? We want champagne, wine, red wine. Really? What we want? Champagne, of course. Oh, hey, get the most expensive champagne for my woman. Here you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You have a beautiful place. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so tell me. I want to know everything. Tell me everything. Yeah. It all started about a year ago. For some reason, I was involved in a scandal at my place of work. And for that, I lost my job. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. And ever since then, you know, it has been one misery to another. And my wife even makes my life more unbearable. I have tried to get a better job. But you know, these days, landing a quality job is quite difficult. I'm so sorry to hear this. I'm so sorry. Thank you. So at some point, I got tired of my wife's insults and all her nagging. And then I said to myself, I think I'll just go out there and look for anything, any kind of job as long as it takes me out of the house, even if it's a laborer's job. Okay, so does she work? Sure, she has a decent job. And a pay can take care of the bills in the house conveniently? Trust me, more than enough. Then why is she always nagging? You know, I don't know, I mean, Maybe her true nature has just been revealed because of the circumstances that I found myself in right now. You know, she nags at every single opportunity and she makes me do the entire chores of the house oh, wow. simply because she's now the one that provides. I 
I can help. You see, I work with a foreign company in a remote at the convenience of my home yeah. and they pay handsomely too. Okay. Um, so tell me, what will you do with the system? I can do a lot of things with the system. I mean, I, I mean, that's what I do practically. I'm an IT person. I actually develop. I'm an app developer. Tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. Are you? Yes. See, I, I used to work in a tech firm, right? Okay. Before I lost my job. And um, ever since I've been trying to get back into the game, I, I'm very, very strong on LinkedIn. My profile is very strong. My connections... The problem with getting an online job is you, you just have to have a very strong connection. I, I think that's where it gets so tricky. I know, you're right. So that makes my work more easier. So all you have to do now is send me your CV so that I can chip you in. Just like that? Just like that. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I, I ignored your calls the other time. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine, I can't understand. You're a married man, so that's fine. Are you always this understanding? <laughs> Can you just talk all this? So tell me, what do you want to eat something? Well, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. Anything, anything African. Okay then, let me check in the refrigerator. All right. I'll be back. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know what tomorrow brings Yes, you never know what the future brings Your love and respect should be unconditional Unconditional Joel, hmm? why is the dining table empty, Joel? There's nothing for breakfast? <laughs> uh, am I your chef? Hmm? Are you being silly right now? Why would you ask me such a stupid question? Let me tell you something now. Huh? If you really want to be having breakfast very early in the morning, I suggest you hire a chef to do that for you. Hmm? Thanks for the advice. I'll take it. You're welcome. Jobless man. Take a look. Your what? job invitation. That fast? Yes. I sent a recommendation later to my manager that I recommend you. Oh my goodness! So, like, practically, I have a job now. You do? Oh my god! Let me see that. Oh my god, this feels like a miracle. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. But please, this is a life changing opportunity. Make sure you don't miss this up because now my job too is at stake. Too. I know. I will always have that at the back of my mind, okay? I will never ever disappoint you. In fact, more than that, I'm gonna make you proud. I'll make you proud. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Um, can I can I just print that? I'm happy I could help. It's mm -hmm. fine. Thanks. <sighs> okay, let me check if I have any messages here. Jennifer, you need to see this guy. He is so cute. Oh my god. I don't even know what I'm thinking or how I feel about him. Right. Rita, you're married. And so? This is so wrong. Married to who? That useless and jobless man? He's still your husband, do you know that? Oh, please. 
Do you know the last time I felt something, happiness for my husband? Do you know the last time? So what's, what's the wrong thing I'm doing trying to find happiness elsewhere? Going on an affair with another man while you're married is not a nice thing to do. At all. Why are you justifying what you're doing? Hmm. Look, I am not doing anything wrong. I'm just trying to find happiness. Have you thought of how devastated he's going to be when he finds out about this? I don't care. I won't be part of this evil act. I cease to be your friend from today. Jennifer. What? Well, it's not that serious. It's not worth it. We shouldn't lose our friendship over that. I will forget we had this discussion. But please, lose my number. Are you being serious right now? Jennifer.
cannot imagine going this life thing alone without you fully being my life. Please, will you marry me? Um, Alvin, I, I think this is too early. We, we just met. Well, it's okay, but nothing is too early and nothing is too late. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I don't love you. I really do love you and I want to marry you, but I'm married. <laughs> no, I meant to say I am. Um, I was married and, you know, and I'm, I'm still trying to get over that and um, I wouldn't want to jump into another marriage so soon. Uh, okay, I, I reason with you. But nothing is too late or too early. Okay, what if I take my word back? Then I will wait for you whenever you are ready. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But why do you love me this much? It's, it feels so good to be true. Well, I don't have answer to that question. I just have it in mind that the major reason I returned from US is because I'm desperately in need of a life partner. And now that I have found a true African woman, a beauty like no other, I'm not going to give you for any reason. Oh, thank you so much, baby. I'm, I'm happy you understand and you're ready to wait till whenever I'm ready. I appreciate that. See, let me tell you. The love I have for you. <laughs> to be honest with you now, I, I am helpless without you. <laughs> so I, I, I will wait as long as you want me to wait. Thank you, baby. So should we trust to that? <sighs> to love. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the time. Hmm? It's past 3 a.m. What? Why didn't you wake me up? I was not supposed to spend the night. I'm supposed to go home. Oh uh, my uh, god. But it won't be nice for me to wake my sleeping jet up. No, no, no. I have to leave. I have to leave. I have things I need to do. I, we walk tomorrow. You should have woken me up. Oh my god. A any problem? No, no, no. I just need to go. There's no problem. But, but you don't have to go by I'm this time. I'm going home, please. Just you can go home. in the morning. Oh my God. Look at the time. Uh, I, I want to make something special for you. About last night, I um I went for a party with my friend Jennifer. I had no idea it was that late, and I'm sorry I came home very late. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man. I'll be in the kitchen. He's down at his lowest point, cause you never know. What tomorrow brings, yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Circumstances change. 
to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what the future brings. You love and who is she? She and who is asking? Don't even avoid the question. Who is she? Well, she's a friend I met in the estate. Am I not allowed to keep friends? And you were touching and, and, and laughing and, 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 and smiling with her all over the place? <laughs> that was a friendly hug, by the way. Really? Mm -hmm. So this is what I get in return for being the man of the house. Putting food on the table so you can eat and survive is to go around the estate and humiliate me and embarrass me with some urchin you met on the estate, Joel. Is this what I get? Joel, I am talking to you. Joel, you're not only jobless, but you don't have respect for your wife. You're going around the estate, smiling and touching and laughing with some urchin. Shameless man. Jobless man. This is what I get for being the man of the house. Are you not supposed to be doing my job? No! You have so much time in your hands. You're, you're, you're laughing and, 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 and smiling with any girl you meet in the estate. I don't blame you. Circumstances change. <sighs> you don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point. Cause you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Ooh. Leave this in. It's okay, bro. I like to catch all that jokes. <laughs> Joel, why are you talking to me? Are you being silly? Why are you talking to on the phone? I'm talking to you. Hey! I'll call you back. What is wrong with you? So it has gotten to this. You're talking to another woman in my house. Who are you talking to? It's none of your business. Oh, really? Yes. Hmm. We'll see about that. All right. It's none of your business. But you stay in my house talking to another woman. Now it's my business. Out of my house. Get out! Out of my house. I will not be paying the bills in this house, feeding your jobless ass, and you have the guts, the nerves to be talking to another woman in my house. It will not happen. Get out! Since you will not respect me, you're talking to another woman in my house. Get out! Drone, if you leave this house, you never come back again. Well, actually, I am leaving. You can bring in the man that you don't feed. Bye. If you leave, you're not coming back, and I mean it this time. Joel! Joel! with the bag. Can I spend a couple of days with you? Pending when I'm able to sort out things. Please. What happened? She threw me out. Okay. That's fine. You can stay. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go up so I can show you your room. Nothing lasts 
So I came bringing gifts. I bought a lot of things and I'm going to cook and make sure that your fridge is stuck with food for the next one week. I don't want my baby boy hungry. <laughs> wow, but baby, you are not supposed to worry yourself. You should know I'm a big boy and I'm, I'm, I'll be fine. I know, babe, but you don't eat good food. You eat only junk because you don't cook. So I'm here to make sure that you don't starve, that your tummy is filled with good food. <laughs> Homemade food. That is very thoughtful of you, but you should know your man. You should know me. No, today, for example, I spent the bad part of today with Davido, Whiskey, Bonaboy. These are my guys. Really? But chill, yes. You know, I hardly eat homemade food. I don't worry, you've got me now, so you eat it. <laughs> Anything for you, baby. It's okay. Now, nah, let me ask you. Why not marry me? Yeah. Oh, come on, baby. You know I'm not ready for that yet. It's okay. I, I was just kidding. <laughs> it's fine. You got me. Okay, um, how much did you spend? Just let me have your account details so that I can transfer. Wait, why are you asking me that? I did it for you, so you don't need to send Come anything on. to me. Come on, babe, I, I, I should pay you. It's, no it's way. It's not being responsible, you know. Come on, babe, don't worry. I've got you. Man, where the hell have you been all my life? <laughs> Somewhere. So tell me, what do you want to start with first? <laughs> okay. What are the options? Anything you can think of. I mean, everything you can think of. Your favorite things. Everything is on the menu. So, just let me know. Mm. You know, I like to eat before eating. And I want to eat the most delicious meal in this world. And what could that be? It's you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I should have known that. But if I have to go home. Cause you never know. What tomorrow brings, yes, you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Unconditional. Ooh. I'm ready. You are ready for us? Yes, I am. I'm ready. Babe, are you sure? I don't want it to seem as if I'm forcing it into you. No. I am very sure. Look, I've thought about it and I've made up my mind that I want to be with you for the rest of my life. Wow! You mean you want to spend the rest of your life with me as my wife? Yes. Oh my God! Yes, baby. Then you know what? This is the greatest news I have ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Mm. See, this call for celebration and this is not enough. Okay. Let us. Go. Where are we going to? To the room, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. All I'm right. so excited. I'm so happy! <laughs>
talked to her about last night. <laughs> okay, you go first. All right, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, thank you for last night. That's what I wanted to say. Why thank you? Because... Because you made me feel like a man again. I loved it too. You know, every time I'm around you, I feel a certain way that I've never felt before. And I don't even know how to explain it. I feel the same way too. But more than you do. You do? I do. Oh. I've been trying to call you all day. Never felt so distant from you. What's going on? Ruby, I'm sorry. I said I was going to call you as soon as I'm free. As soon as you're free? Since when? Uh, you know, I was in a Zoom meeting with some clients. All day? Yes, all day. And that was what I meant when I said that. My type of business is different from you guys. Sometimes I can be indoors for days. You should have at least sent a text or picked up your call or returned the calls. I'm sorry. That was why I said I was going to call you as soon as I'm free. And besides, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. As you can see, I'm fine. I know you're fine, but I was worried. I, 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 you kept me thinking something is wrong. It's okay. I promise it's it will not happen again. I better hope so. It shouldn't <laughs> happen. Come here. I say it will not happen again. I've heard. And give me a full smile. This <laughs> change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down and at his lowest point. Because you never know what tomorrow brings. Yes, you never know. What the future brings Your love and respect Should be Unconditional Unconditional you badly and I know you're mad at me. I need your help. Sure. I think I'm in trouble. Please Big wait. trouble. Get in touch. It's locked. Where is Alvin? Please, I don't have time. Madam, my service apartment, I be this. I don't know who be Alvin. The person where they I don't check out, so I don't know who be Alvin. Look, young woman, I don't have time for this rubbish. If you're trying to be funny, it's not funny. Where the hell is Alvin? Madam, my service apartment, I be this. And the person where they I don't check out, I don't know what it, what it they happen. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Is this, you think I'm, I, I came here to joke? I need to see Alvin. I've been in this house. This is where he lives. I've even slept here. What are you telling me? Here, here is a service apartment. He's checked, checked out to where? Um, madam, you supposed to pass due process before you enter here. Which one be saying you just walk up come here? They ask me who be Alvin, who be Alvin. I, I waited to happen. Okay, yeah, I get what this is all about. So this is how you could go about scamming people? And you think it's funny? You think it's funny? Where the hell is Alvin? Um, this is Alvin's Security! Yeah. I know what is this woman I'm saying? Wait. No, 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 no. I need to get to the body. So that. this is how you go about scamming people. No, Telling me he has checked out. Where is Alvin? I need to see him now. So this is a, is their plan. Can't you see? You Which plan? Count. How? 
Oh, can you tell me here is a seven? This is Alvin's house for crying out loud. Which Alvin is not here. Rita, you, you have been scammed. This is his house. I'm she has been scammed. Oh, be not that house. house. So I love it. Uh, not, you have been scammed. No, no. Wait, wait. Wait, Alvin. As Where did he check out to? Hey. See, me see what? Security, yo. What you, what you mean this one? She call me security, yo. I don't understand. You are not supposed to even enter this place. You are supposed to go deal process now. Nah. Ask security. You are just walking come here and they say, I'm here. Rita, I don't listen. Understand. You've been scammed. No, you think this is a joke? She has no, been no, no, scammed, no, no. though. Uh, this is Alvin's house. No. Uh, which Alvin's house? I've been here severally. I've, I've spent the night here, Jennifer. Alvin, it will never be well with you anywhere you are. It will never be well with you. I'm so sorry, baby. Huh? I sent a report to the police along with his pictures. This is a serious romance scam, so the other women do not fall victim of it. Huh? And to think he gave me a stupid ring. But I warned you. And I was here thinking he's the right man for me. I warned you. But you didn't hear. There are lots of them out there disguising as soulmates. You wouldn't listen to me. No, how would I have known? I feel so stupid. I feel so used. No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. You have to go through. You have to go through. I'm so sorry. Okay. Look, we have a lot to talk about. I have a lot stand of things up to now. say get to you. Get out of this place. Please, stand can up. you just come back? And... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I will stand. But oh, please, just get up. Get me. out. Can I just, okay, let me just... Wait, please, I'm, I'm sorry. If I I'm... see you here again, you'll regret it. Circumstances change. You don't have to kick a man when he's down at his lowest point because you never know what tomorrow brings, cause you never know what the future brings. Your love and respect should be unconditional. Oh. How may I help you? Did you lost your way? No, you lich. I came to tell you to stay the hell away from my husband. Didn't he tell you he was married? <laughs> Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. Yes, he told me he was married, but his wife sent him into my arms. Oh, wait. Are you the ex-wife? Joel <laughs> and I are legally married, still married. So I am not an ex, but a wife, unlike you. Oh, really? Leech, yes. I'm sorry to hear that. Just get lost, please. Hey, 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 hey. I am not 
on talking to you. The next time I'll come here, I won't warn you. I'm going to do something. And what will regret. you do? Okay. No, tell me, what will you do? Try me. What will Stay you do? Stay the hell away I from won't. my husband. I Are you that won't. desperate? Yes, Get I yourself am. a man. No. You leech. Stay away from Just my mother and my husband, bitch. Shameless thing. Stay away from Joel. <laughs> <laughs> you must be joking. So, now that we're here at this, why don't we make a toast to something, right? So, what do you think we should toast to? Um, toast to life, more money, especially for you. <laughs> and good things. Okay, so, toast to life, more money, and good things. And toast to our amazing friendship. And better things that will come with it, right? I know. So, so um... Thank you for all you've been for me, right? Um, there's something I need to tell you. Okay. You and I, we met when I was at my lowest point in life. And ever since then, you've been everything. You've been amazing. You've, you've given me strength, you've given me joy. In my weakest moment, you've always been there. The truth is, Words cannot express how much you mean to me right now. You brought me so much joy. Words cannot express how much gratitude I feel that God Almighty brought you to me. V, can you do me the honor of becoming my wife, please? Baby, are you for real? Yes. Oh, I will, baby. I will. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's begin over again. His left hand. Let's do it again. I got you. Oh, so happy. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you, baby. Oh. point I don't care anymore I don't care if you have a job or not I don't care I just want you back I, 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 and I'm glad you're here well if you must know I now have a very very decent job oh. with a high salary wow. and that's thanks to you for pushing me into that blessing babe I am so happy for you I, I, I knew you could I knew you would get a good job someday I'm so proud of you yeah, it's okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm still very sorry. It's fine, it's fine. I've forgiven you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So what if you have to know, I am getting married to V. And these are the papers that you need to sign pending when you hear from my lawyer. And one more thing, Rita. Be sure to stay away from me and my family. Enjoy your life. Ah. Oh my goodness. Finally. I can't believe this, baby. I can't believe this. We are Mr. and Mrs. I know, baby. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> <laughs> so, darling, 
Mm. What are we gonna do on our first night? That's a couple. Well, maybe we'll have some champagne, mm -hmm. and play some games, you know, adult games. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm so happy, baby. Oh. Mm -hmm. You are the one, my love. <laughs> my heart belongs to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it's like to you, baby. And, and promise never, never to pass. <laughs> Your love and respect should be unconditional. 